Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are going to be taking a look at the one that bit me. Yes, this is the Chiburkov Striz, and outside of it being uh, a little unruly that one night and uh, giving my finger a good gash, um, got a lot to say about this knife. Before I go any further in this review, let me thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length of 7.625 inches with a blade length coming in at 3.25 inches. A cutting edge coming in at 3.25 inches as well with a blade width of 0.86 inches. A blade thickness coming in at 0.13 inches. Blade material being M390 with a drop point style blade, full flat grind, a handle length of 4.25 inches with a handle thickness coming in at 0.5 inches, a handle width coming in at 0.97 inches, carbon fiber handle material with a liner lock. This is a right hand only tip up carry, weight coming in at 2.5 ounces, Price of $425 and designed by Alexander Chaburkov. Now, let's take a look at some size comparisons on this guy right here. It's really not a... Uh, I guess when I saw the pictures of it, I was expecting this knife to be bigger. And I don't really think it's small. But uh, you'll see here, we'll compare it with uh, the Spyderco Smock. And as you can see, the smock is, is a little longer, as well as the Benchmade Bug Out, which I think is a pretty good comparison. Um, overall, coming in pretty close here. Let's put those right on the line to give you guys a good idea. There we go. It's hard for me to do two things at once. I have to concentrate. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. All right, so as you can see, pretty much the same length as the Bug Out and a little shorter than the smock. And then uh, taking a look at two other ones here for you, we have the SOG Terminus XR as well as the Civivi Elementum, the Civivi Elementum. There you are, as you can see, a little bigger than both of those. So we have a really nice medium to some would consider larger size knife. I definitely wouldn't consider this a large knife, but I, you know, some may. Regardless, what it is for me is a really just about perfectly sized knife. Um, it has a very simple but very, very EDC friendly drop point blade with an edge coming in at 17 thousandths. That edge combined with a full flat grind will make for an excellent slicer, which this is, um, as you can see. Um, but it's extra slicey at the tip, too. We have, uh, one second here, let me adjust my notes. We have, uh, this tip that you know it coming in at 0.13 along the uh along the blade stock is good and it comes up to this tip that i mean yes i would consider it dainty um but it's really slicey also so as long as you don't go prime with anything you can get some really good uh little finer slicing work done with this tip so I like the way they did that tip and uh it, it it is still a very solid blade very sturdy blade with that nice full flat grind coming all the way up and uh, covering the entire blade. We also have excellent jimping on the sharpening, excellent jimping on the spine of the blade, as well as a sharpening choil here. I like the sharpening choil a lot. It doesn't take up too much of the blade. It doesn't look awkward. Um, I think it's very well designed. And this jimping right here works really good. This is again, this is kind of that perfect example of uh, spine spine jimping for uh, thumb placement. Just works very very well. Feels really good in the hand, and uh, you know it's not going anywhere. Now, I do want to point out the thumb studs on this knife are aftermarket. Um, my buddy Dilo that sent this in to me, I don't think he even knows where they came from. They're, they're not Chaburkov brand. Um, I believe they're third party, but they are amazing. They look a little out of, out of a place to some people. I don't think they're really that bad. If they were just slightly smaller and a little... Uh, they're just ever so slightly sticking up on, uh, above the spine of the blade, which really isn't uncomfortable. I mean, it doesn't really drive me crazy. Like it doesn't bother my thumb, I guess is what I'm saying. It doesn't bother my thumb, but, uh, I'm not sure aesthetically. They just look a hair too big, but I can get over that for this, uh, slow rolling action that I will talk about more when we get to action. Um, but going into the handle and ergos on this guy, 
These are really, really good. Um, full carbon fiber handles with no liners make this an extremely light knife. Two and a half ounces for a knife this size, uh, you know, a 7.625 inch knife. That's very, very impressive. And it feels, it actually feels maybe even a little lighter than that. I just, it feels like nothing. When you guys get down to two and a half ounces and less though, it's just not going to feel like anything regardless. And the bigger the knife gets, the lighter that your it, the lighter that your brain kind of thinks it is, I, if that makes sense. You know, you expect something to be a little heavier as it gets bigger, but 2.5 ounces for this size of knife is very, very nice. Um, the Ergos are also very good. Uh, it, it, it doesn't have any special crazy contouring. Um, the carbon fiber is contoured a little, as you can see, it's rounded. Um, they did a good job of knocking down the sides just enough to where it doesn't feel sharp, but you do feel an edge there, but it helps just secure that grip in hand. And uh, really, really good in my opinion. This carbon fiber really is fantastic. There's, there's no flaws on it anywhere. It's perfectly smooth. You can go over this thing with a microscope and I mean, it's just, it, it's an excellent shape. Finished very, very well. And uh, the pocket clip on this guy, the pocket clip really doesn't get much better than this. I'm a big fan of titanium pocket clips like this that, that carry relatively deep carry. I mean, to me, right here, you're going to see about this much of the knife coming up. Not super deep carry, but it, it carries deep enough for me. My... My opinion is kind of changing on pocket clips. I, I still love a good deep carry clip, don't get me wrong, but I don't mind a little of my knife sticking out, especially if we're just talking, you know, that's that much. It's it's not the end of the world. But this clip in general is just, as you can see, it's kind of contoured and smooth. The edges are knocked down real good. This cl clip is absolutely zero hotspot and I barely feel it. it it's so good. It's made to sit in your hand and just not bother you in any way whatsoever. And I love the way they did that. Even these things up here that may look like points, they it feels it feels smooth as all get out. It is excellently done and uh, really good retention. The, the size of the ramp up here is big enough to get into any pocket hem that I have. In and out of the pocket, just fine. Extremely functional, very good looking and simple clip. One thing that may drive some people crazy on this knife are some of the edges on the handle here. This this part up here, it's it's kind of pokey. I don't want it's not sharp, but it's kind of pointy and pokey. And if you have like really wide hands or if you're just feeling it, some people just, you know, feel like this and be like, "Oh, I can't stand that. That's that's just that's way too pointy for me." But what I say to that is when do you feel it? Because unless you're trying to feel it like I just did um, before I opened the knife, you don't feel it here. I don't feel it down here. Um, this is well out of, you know, the way of, of my hand. So it's not going to be touching anything. I just, I have no issue with it. Um, it'd be one thing if this was a smaller knife and this was sitting deeper in my palm and I was really feeling it on my finger right here or somehow these... These corners here were prouder than the actual blade, and I was feeling it that way, but I just don't feel it at all. So it's no issue to me, but I think it is worth pointing out because if you do just, you know, feel it like this, people are going to be like, holy crap, that's so that's so pointy and pokey. It, it's like, well, yeah, it is, but it's just never going to bother you. So thought it was worth mentioning. Um, liner lock is also extremely easy to access. They did a really good job of milling out an area to get in there with your thumb. And it's just enough too. It's not too big and it's not like ugly and obtrusive. It still looks really good on the knife. It, it actually kind of hides the way they um, did the darker wash on the liner lock and the color of the carbon fiber. Um, very, very discreet, looks really good. And you can easily get your thumb in there and uh, close this blade. Now the action on this knife. Oh, the action is so good. For a knife that is purely on washers, as you guys can see here, that is washers. Let's see if I got a better view in here. No, they do a really good job of hiding the washers too, so nothing gets in there um, or, you know, even gets around it. But there you go. There's the washers right there. And I tell you what, a one is obviously bigger than the other, as you can see. Um, this is one of the smoothest knives on washers I have ever experienced. Um, it's right up there with the Quiet Carry Waypoint. I'm sure a lot of people know the Waypoint. That's when I think of excellent action on washers, that's the first one that comes to mind. The absolute first one, this is right behind it. 
Uh, this is really good. It's super smooth. It's not drop shutty by any means. Um, if you put so, push the liner to lock down, it'll move down a little, but you got to use your finger and kind of push it down, which is no issue to me. There's some knives that just feel good doing that, and these thumb studs, I love. This is just like the perfect radius for me of slow rolling a knife. It's not too big. It doesn't feel awkward in my hand. It just opens and closes so nice, so smooth. The detent isn't too strong. It just makes it very easy to do this. And then of course you can also do the thumb flip just fine. You can do the middle finger flick just fine when I'm not trying to rush myself, it can work just fine. And you can also, oh, it almost bit me again. I'll explain the bite in just a second. You can also front flip it very, very easily. The jimping goes up high enough all the way to the top of the spine. And it just, it allows for you when this is opening, it allows for your thumb to stay above this point that would catch it. So it's very easy to front flip. It's not a front flipper first. I don't know if this was actually part of the design plan, but you can very easily front flip it, which I am a huge fan of. Now the cut, how did I get this cut? So it's kind of crazy what I was doing. <laughs> what I was doing was just the slow rolling. I wasn't even doing anything stupid. I was literally just doing this, rolling the blade out, just kind of, you know, not really paying attention. And I pushed it up one time like this and I put my finger down and I went to go close the liner and somehow I didn't close the liner and my finger came down like this. And then my like knee jerk reaction was just to pull my finger back up. And this blade literally just scalloped a piece of my finger off right right next to my nail if it if this was my index finger it'd be like right here and i mean it was a divot it was like a uh, professional golfer style divot out of my finger and it was so disgusting it would not stop bleeding i'm not going to show pictures of it on my instagram or anywhere because i'm not it always kind of i showed a picture of the blood in the um in the band-aid around my finger but i don't show flesh wounds that's i i, I don't uh, i'm not a fan of that a little blood on a napkin and a band-aid is one thing but showing you guys a big chunk of my finger missing i'm not doing that it's not not quite my style but um but yeah this is all i was doing and then slip whoo took a chunk off. It happened so quick and I didn't even feel it at first. This blade is really sharp. It will slice just fine. So when you're messing with it, when you're, when you're fidgeting or when you're using it, if you have one or any knife, be careful, you guys. Don't be an idiot like me because it sucks. It really hurts and you bleed. And now I, even when I go to the gym, it, it's just a pain in the butt. So back to this knife. This knife is overall, I think it's awesome. I, I really, really like it. Um, it is very simple and basic in design. There's nothing that really wows you up front. You don't look at you don't look at a picture of it and you're like, oh, whoa, I gotta get that in hand. I gotta check that out. But it really is that good once you get it in hand. The, the combination of how solid this knife feels. This is a very solid knife. When you get it in hand, you're just blown away by the the solidity of it as well as the weight of it. And then when you take a deeper look at it, you just notice the quality, the smoothness on the scales, the pocket clip, um, everything about this, it is just, it's executed just about perfectly. Um, I, I'm a really big fan of this. Um, if you are looking for a different knife, something that's a little out of the norm in that $400 to $500 price range, absolutely something I'd recommend taking a look at. I, I may even buy one of these someday. I don't know. They're kind of hard to find. You have to, you know, they're kind of like Chris Reeve knives. You got to get them while they're getting good. When, if you see one and you like it, you kind of got to hop on it. Um, I do see them at Knife Center sometimes. I've seen them. Where else? Um, I think Knife Center is where I've seen them most. I have to say, yeah, Knife Center for sure is the number one spot I've seen them at. Um, but you can get them other places. But regardless, definitely one I'd recommend. Um, super lightweight seems to be extremely durable one that would definitely last probably a lifetime for you really really nice knife um let me know your guys's thoughts have any of you guys ever experienced a chibirk off whether it be a striz or any other model i would be interested in hearing your thoughts on that i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you have a great rest of your day and until the next one i'm out